Hi, Gabriel here. Just wanted to make a random video um, as a sort of goodbye to Dirt Rally. I mean, you know, there's nothing stopping us playing Dirt Rally, and you know, we've got Dirt 4 just around the corner. Obviously, the reason why I'm making this video today. But you know, I just wanted to um, make a video to sort of say thanks to Codemasters. I mean, they probably will never watch this, but you know, it's out there. Just to say thank you for hours of fun and and making something that I think is very special, actually, because I can't think of another motorsport game, um, or at least rally game. I mean, there are you know, i racing and stuff like that, but with this game I think there's something different about it. It has a a soul, an elegant simplicity. They have tried to be accurate to the feeling of, of rally and, and, the, and the sensation of it as best they can um, in this game. They listen to what we want. That can easily be seen in in this in in the fact that you know they said what do you want and we said well we actually want Pike's Peak we want a really big track a big, big stage a big hill climb stage put in the game and they went yeah okay you know they they just they did it and they put in f four brilliant cars to drive up it and you know we said we wanted a lot of cars and um, what did they do they took cars from the 60s all the way to well uh, what that's the 2016 uh, <laughs> 16 uh, WRC uh, this is I'm pretty sure this is uh, the 16 as well Hyundai rally car which is really good by the way people should actually drive this more I think it's not driven enough in this game they got classic cars in there they got championship winning cars they got the F Ford Focus in there you know it's not I don't think it ever won championship, but we all know why it's in the science, McQuarrie, M Sport in general. It's it's iconic. It's brilliant. You know they got some some random cars. You know, sort of bridging the gap between something as fast as a Group B car and the 2010 cars. We got front wheel drive cars car that I believe I believe has I think that's a is that a Formula One engine or something like that? It's it's um you know it's the highest revving rally car I think there's probably ever been, hence the amazing sound of it. This car the Seat it's great as well. It's, I mean they just you can tell from the selection of cars that they love rally and that comes through in this game. I mean, <laughs> look at all these Group B cars. I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I know a lot of people are, and I do appreciate the fact that people love them a lot. And so Cody's went, yeah, okay, there you go. Have that, you, you peoples, eh? These I'm not a great fan of, but again, totally understand why they're in the game. They put the Stratos in the game. Again, another car I don't like. <laughs> but still, I appreciate what what it means to people and what this car means to people the mini you know where it all started which you know we've I think we've all seen clips of these little things with a light on the top driving up a hill in Monte Carlo so yeah I think uh, what I might do is shut the mic off and 
play stage and hope I don't crash and upload this video as a sort of tribute and thank you to Codemasters for providing a game that is so true to what Bradley fans want. Um, yeah, thank you Codemasters and, and thanks to my subscribers and everyone as we go into Dirt 4 which, by the way, as soon as it comes out tomorrow, I'll probably be making a video on it tomorrow, sort of review my thoughts. Uh, I think I already have a complaint or two, but but they're all those complaints are all going to be prefaced by the fact that I think it's a, 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 another amazing accomplishment from Codemasters Dirt 4. I can already say it is already it, yeah, I can already safely say that, and I've not even played it. That is in, an incredible game. But uh, we'll cover more of that on tomorrow. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.